It was always going to happen. After coupe SUVs and high performance SUVs, the next step was a logical one, a convertible, obviously. The Evoque is Land Rover's fastest ever selling model, and now it's just got a little bit more interesting. The Evoque convertible will arrive in time for when the warm weather returns later in the year, and is described as the world's first luxury convertible SUV. From launch, diesel versions will start from £47,500, a premium of 5200 over the equivalent hardtop. Most Evoque convertibles will be powered by the 178 brake horsepower 2-litre diesel Ingenium engine, although a 237 brake horsepower 4-cylinder petrol will also be an option. For the diesel, that means 0 to 62 increases from the hardtops in 9 seconds to 10.3 seconds in the convertible, while claimed average economy is also cut from 57.6 to 49.6 mpg. CO2 figures are also hit, increasing from 129 grams to 149 grams per kilometre. Now, a folding hardtop just wouldn't have worked for packaging and design reasons on the Evoque, so Land Rover has opted to fit a folding soft top, which can be stored away in just 18 seconds. Now, the removal of the roof and addition of the folding soft top has had an impact on how the Evoque drives. You take the roof off a car, and what you have to do is add strengthening to make sure the car doesn't essentially fall apart. So Land Rover has strengthened the A-pillars and the underbody bracing, but in doing so has added 277 kilograms of extra weight, which is quite a lot. As a result, performance has been impacted slightly. You ask for a little bit of acceleration and it feels a little lethargic to build up some speed. And with the roof down, the diesel engine isn't the sweetest thing to listen to. As for the handling, well, the Evoque was never a sports car to begin with, but there's still plenty of grip thanks to the four-wheel drive system. But if you take a corner a little too quickly, it does feel a little bit roly-poly in the corners because of that extra weight. But to be honest, neither of those things are going to put off potential buyers because this car is all about image. Under the skin, Land Rover has tweaked the suspension and anti-roll bars to compensate for the extra weight, but there's no getting away from the fact that the ride is slightly firmer than the hardtop, but it is still comfortable. But even as a convertible, the Evoque has lost none of its off-road prowess, with four-wheel drive and Land Rover's terrain response system, meaning conditions like this aren't an issue. What's also been affected in the switch from hardtop to convertible is practicality. The Evoque now only seats four people rather than five, as the middle seat has made way for the hood folding mechanism. But a bigger problem still is the boot capacity, which shrinks to just 251 litres and is only accessible through the small letterbox style opening. But having said that, none of these problems are likely to matter to potential buyers. People cannot get enough of SUVs at the moment, and the Evoque has long been one of the best looking models in its sector. Now this convertible may not be to everybody's tastes, but the SUV market is an image-led sector, and Land Rover is taking full advantage of this. To watch our review of the Land Rover Discovery Sport, click on the left icon, and on the right to see how the Range Rover Sport SVR fares against the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Click on the play icon to watch our latest videos, and on the icon to subscribe to our channel.